Hello and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Vasharal and in today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how you can actually start to make the same amount of bells that you can see right now on your screen by farming mystery islands. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing first that you need to do is to actually clear your island of trees, flowers and stone. Next, roam around the island and make sure that you actually clear out all the insects around the island. So keep a lookout for all the insects, especially the ones that are found on the coast. Sometimes they're quite hard to actually see, so make sure you go on the outskirts of the island. Once you start clearing them out, the tarantulas or the scorpion will start to actually spawn. Uh, in my case, I don't have any scorpions, but I do have the tarantula, so depending on your location, you're gonna have a different spawns. So if you're in the southern hemisphere, you're more likely to have the scorpion right now. The tarantula or the scorpion sell for 8,000 bells, so they're making quite a good buck for your efforts. Second, I want you to prepare your whole traps. I'll explain this one later on into the video on how you can actually use a few methods to actually catch these tarantulas and stay safe. So what I want you to do is to actually place two holes on the side and left and right and one on top and one on the bottom. That way you have enough space to maneuver and this method has been keeping me safe and helped me to collect those tarantulas. Next, I want you to empty all your pockets. That means remove any unnecessary items that you have, remove all the weeds and flowers and everything that you just collected from the island. You want to keep your inventory as clear as possible and just keep your net with you. That's all you need. What I recommend is when you start to go to the mystery island is to remove your slingshot, your fishing rod, and your watering can. By keeping them home, you save some material and some time. Continue to scan the map and continue to scare the bugs that you encounter as the tarantula normally spawns when there is no more insects on the island. Sometimes you will have to remove giant water bugs. They are very persistent and sometimes they are really tricky to find so keep an eye in the waters. When you notice that there is no more insects spawning all over the place that's a good sign to actually check the waters. So my first method to actually catch tarantulas is to use patience. I do this by holding A and whenever I see the tarantula actually approaching me uh, by jumping and you can hear that when um, it makes that boink sound. Hey, listen. You release then the A and you should be able to actually catch any tarantula that is attacking you. For me this method is by far the easiest one because I have the time to react to the tarantula and I'm also preparing myself whenever I'm trying to catch it. In the beginning when I actually started Animal Crossing I did not know that holding A is gonna put me in this prepared version of catching the insect and it made me die multiple times to tarantulas. Now the next method that I'm gonna share is gonna be a slightly different and if you want to apply something else or you've been using this method but you're still failing, you can try this other method. So the second method is called the hole trap and it is the one that I was showing you earlier. This is just as a precaution if you are being chased by the tarantula and you don't have enough reaction time, you can use this method to draw it in this trap to basically catch it without having to worry about being bitten by it. Now for this method to be actually effective, I recommend you drawing a little bit of distance when you're being chased by the tarantula and making sure that you jump on the other side Get over here. sometimes the tarantula will be able to actually go through the tiny little space between the upper side of the hole and the two other holes and uh, that could be quite funny and I've, I will show you later on an example of what actually happened to me despite the fact that I've been using this method more often in this uh, video example I've been struggling a lot to actually catch the tarantula she's moving quite fast in a circle manner so you have to time your way when you catch it and if you give quite a lot of time I believe that the tarantula can go through the hole so that means that you have a limited time to actually react to it so make sure that you react to the tarantula in time hold a if you can and release it on the time when the tarantula is there first time when I actually saw the tarantula moving into circles so rapidly it actually scared me and I started becoming very anxious thinking that the tarantula is gonna find its way into the hole quicker than I actually 
could react to it. Generally, you have enough time to actually react to it, so about five to maybe ten seconds. <laughs> I haven't actually Got tested out to see how long is the tarantula gonna last, but uh, normally it's gonna be enough time for you to react to it. My last and final method is actually the distance one. So what I do is I try to create as much distance as I can between me and the tarantula, and then I prepare myself for her to reach my proximity, and that's when I press A to actually catch it. This method can be sometimes quite difficult because you need a good reaction time, and you also need to create the proper distance between you and the tarantula. So let me know which method do you prefer using. So so drop it in the comment, type method 1, method 2 or method 3. Try keeping your inventory clean as much as you can, so keep a track of whatever you have in your inventory. If you're like me, you're probably gonna have a lot of giant water bugs, so make sure you release them every now and then so you have enough space to put those tarantulas in. You don't want to always be bugged by the message that shows up that your inventory is full and you need to replace it. One thing I noticed that if you're on a high terrain as I was on this island, you need to ignore the tarantulas that are on top. At the beginning I thought that they're gonna jump down and they're gonna attack me but unfortunately they disappear the moment they try to actually chase you. So here are a bit of failures and also some lessons that I learned from them. When I first lay this whole trap I actually failed and by mistake I moved and that caused me to jump outside of the hole. Here I didn't create enough distance between me and the tarantula and I didn't manage to react to it. Another lesson that I could actually say is that to be careful when tarantula are spawning sometimes Bruh. you won't actually notice them keep in mind to circle around the trap hole so that way you don't get attacked. make sure that you pay attention when they pop on the screen sometimes you might not notice them and they all of a sudden gonna bite you here I'm trying to actually create distance and the tarantula got stuck in the DIY workshop and that confused me thinking that it disappeared and sometimes the tarantula is just fast enough and it will catch you before you actually enter the hole here you have to pay attention on which direction you're actually aiming your net. Another thing that I noticed is that when I was being chased next to the river or next to any pool of water, the tarantulas would actually disappear. So make sure that you don't draw them next to the water. Sometimes they simply fail jumping over it. So once you finish and you filled up all your inventory, just pick whatever you need to pick and head out. Do not forget that New Cranny is actually closing at 10 p.m. So make sure that you're there before it actually closes. And that's it guys. Thank Thank you very much for watching and, and I hope that this video brought you value and as well a lot of bells. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video and hit that bell notification to never miss a thing. So yeah, thank you once again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.